G'day everybody, this is Adam from Quarren Health Products and we're just going to put a little bit of a video together today. We've just come back from the Tony Robbins UPW event last weekend and for those of you that were lucky enough to attend that, you may have been even luckier and spotted that we had a stand and we were making some uh, rather interesting juices with the Huron. And some of you even luckier people may have ordered one and you should hopefully by the time you're watching this have received this if you had ordered one through the post so um, well done if you have this video is in particular for you guys because we had some really good feedback about the apple lemon and <coughs> vanilla juices we were making and also the nut milks so what I'm going to do today is run through the Huron and uh, basically make a breakfast of champions which features in this order, um, basically what I kind of try to have most days on a good day uh, for breakfast. And that is, uh, first of all, I'll start off with a KN and lemon juice uh, with warm water. Now that's absolutely brilliant on KN if you get the raw crafted, wild crafted, organic. KN is used worldwide to treat a variety of health conditions including poor circulation, weak digestion, heart disease, chronic pain, sore throats, headaches, toothache, Contains E, vitamin E, C, carotenoid, anyway, goes on. It's a super, super food and um, is great for your circulation. It's a great way just to get the blood moving around in your body first thing in the morning. Lemon um, is a great detoxifier and it's, a, again, a great foundation for the first drink in the morning. So we're going to make that first off with a little bit of warm water. Then we're going to move on to making an apple juice with lemon again, whole lemon and also some vanilla bean. And uh, as I said, that was a real hit at, uh, at the Tony Robbins um, UPW event that we had in Sydney last weekend. Um, super duper, wonderful tasting uh, juice. So we're gonna make that, and then we're gonna make a nut milk, which is also a bit of a hit um, with, uh, with, with, the, with the guys at UPW. And I'm actually gonna put a bit of a spin on this. Last weekend we were making almond milk with, uh, ra sorry, sultanas and vanilla. Um, with the Huron again, it's one of the few juices that you can really do this sort of thing with. But we're going to put a bit of a spin on it. Um, we're actually going to do hazelnut, almond, and pistachio. Mine went almost a bit blank there. Yeah, so hazelnut, pistachio, and almond with uh, dates that I've had soaking, and also again, our favorite, the vanilla bean. What we're going to actually do with that as well is we're going to add that to. Um, our breakfast bowl which contains, um, I've just basically ground up some linseeds or flax seeds as they're known with some sunflower um, seeds and then also just uh, some blueberries and some banana. So this is truly a breakfast of champions and it's all involving the Huron and it's something that if you've ordered one, got one, that you can do yourselves quite easily. If I can do it, anybody can. First of all, what we're going to do is make a lemon and cayenne pepper, uh, I call it like a, basically a, a, an early morning starter, so it's the first thing you want to drink. Um, and what we've got is, we've got one whole lemon, we've got about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, try and make sure it's wild crafted or organic, um, probably avoid the stuff that you generally get as the run of the mill stuff in, in the supermarkets, it's usually highly processed. Um, and then we just want some warm ionized water, uh, which we've just put in the kettle, um, and some extra ionized water. So we'll just switch the huram on. Now I've actually peeled these lemons, um, and it's just kind of like a taste preference really, and it's, it's good to keep the rind on in, in some of the things, you'll see that in the apple juice we're going to make in a second, but we're just going to take it off in this instance. Okay, and so the Huron is, is great for juicing citrus, by the way. So, um, you know, just make sure you remove the peel on the oranges and, and grapefruits. But uh, like I say, we'll leave it on occasionally um, for lemons. So I'm just gonna pour that. So that was the juice of a whole lemon into there. We've got half a, or quarter tablespoon, teaspoon of, of cayenne pepper. I'm just gonna put that in there. We're just gonna stir that through. You get a lovely deep red color. Now make sure that water's pretty warm because that'll make sure that the uh, KN dissolves okay. And then I'm just going to top that up with some ionized cool water. By the way, the water that I use is, you would have seen that from Water Healthcare. They're on the stand next to us at UPW. It's an absolutely fantastic water and uh, makes um, you know drinking tap water uh, about the healthiest as you can get. So that's 
cayenne, lemon, and water. That's the first thing you should drink every day, and it's an absolute great, great foundation for, for a healthy day ahead. Here we go, so. Go easy on the cayenne if you don't have a great appetite for spicy things, because it can be quite spicy. I love spicy. So, you know, if you're not too used to spicy, go a little bit easy at first, maybe just a pinch and work your way up. So, cayenne, lemon, and warm water. That's number one juice for breakfast the champions. So next up, what we're gonna be doing is the apple, lemon, and vanilla. And the little trick about this is we're actually gonna juice the whole of the lemon with the rind. And what that does, is it gives us a little bit of a, an apple sherbet sort of type flavor. The vanilla bean, um, which we've used is, is an organic whole vanilla bean. Um, try and get one of these if you can rather than using the essence or, or whatever. It's really, um, it's kind of not really going to give you the same vibe. So I've had that just soaking overnight and just to soften it up a little bit. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. So first thing is, we've just got to chop these apples down. So we've got eight apples, um, we've got one whole lemon as well. and. Look, you know, just play around with it. I know I like a whole lemon to this sort of ratio, one whole lemon to, to eight apples. You may want more, you may want less. So, um, you know, as with all of these things, um, you know, it's down to your own personal taste. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to see, I'm just going to chop that lemon up a little bit. Um, just as with everything with the, with the hurum, you don't, you know, a little bit of pre-preparation is just going to give you a better result in general, okay? So, um, so make sure you do that. And then with the apples, I did have a few people asking us about, um, you know, seeds and, and, you know, what can go into the hurum, what can't. Um, and I did for quite a while, I have to admit, sort of core the apples, but I've sort of moved to a point really now where the hurum does a very good job of, uh, you know, moving all the seed and fiber out and, and not, you know, separating that from the juice, as you've, as you've seen and as you're going to see. Um, and whilst there is there's an element of natural cyanide, by all accounts, in, in apple seeds, um, but you've got to eat, like, a bucket load of them to really. get cyanide. The there isn't a blade cutting system, it's a grinder. So that's why, you know, we use the old... Uh, ceramic knife, um, which uh, I think some of you have got with your order. Really nice, super nice, sharp knife. And look at that, and even with things like this wooded vanilla bean. Now why am I chopping this up? Well again, because it's quite a fibrous product. Um, the, the Huron doesn't have any um, you know, blades on it, as I've just mentioned. So we want to just do a bit of pre-cutting. That There's the seeds there we're going to be putting into the, um, into the vanilla. It smells beautiful. So there we go. So that's our and we're mixing, I've got that really chopped up. And best thing just to do with the horn really is just to throw it all down into the into the shoot um, and mix it up, you know, with a bit of lemon and the vanilla. So I'm just gonna switch that on and literally just throw it down. And that's the great thing about the horn, it really is effortless to juice, as as you probably saw at the uh, Robin show when we had the um, the stand there. We made I I don't know, it was literally I think it was close to hundreds of litres of juice over those four days. We used one machine to do it with, and um, you know, it's quite phenomenal really. It's capacity in turning out beautiful cold pressed juice very quickly. And as you can see, you know, it's juicing as far as I can put it down the, uh, down the spout there. So as I said, eight apples, one whole lemon, one vanilla bean, and uh, that's the kind of the rough guide, but again, as I said, there's no rules to this. You can really experiment and play around with it and get the get the you know combination that, that suits your your tastes. Just one other thing as well that I always like to tell people is chill your products before you juice. You always will get a better result, both in taste and juice extraction when you chill your product, you're using chilled products. So that kind of just is a, is a good guide, a good thing to do. A little bit of... Right, and there we go. So, eight apples, relatively small ones, um, one vanilla bean, one whole lemon, and we have got ourselves one litre of beautiful apple, vanilla, and lemon juice. And um, 
That makes the second part of our breakfast of champions. And all I'm gonna do is just basically grab that glass and this one. Look at those beautiful vanilla beans we've got there into the mix. And look at that, I've got a bit of leftover as well. So, apple, vanilla, and lemon with Huron. Cheers. Mm, it's beautiful. Our apple, lemon, and vanilla juice, and now we're going to go and make the nut milk. So, what we need to do in between that is just give the Huron a quick clean. So, simply put your hand on here, turn anti clockwise, and then lift. Easy as. And we're going to take the whole unit over to here to the sink, and basically, as many of you would have seen during the demo at the Tony Robbins event, um, the Huron comes into five parts basically. And all I ever do, and some people ask me, you know, is it dishwashable and all the rest of it. I haven't even tried to be honest with you. And the reason being is it's so easy to clean. Um, and it's just underneath that rim there's the only bit, little bit of product to get stuck clean, okay? We've got the basket here. And literally you can just see that after a couple of seconds, We're clean, so that's that. There's the, uh, the sort of like the, the juice capture, the windscreen wipes, these little silicon pieces here which capture the juice inside. That's clean. And we've got, so here's the one what you got here, okay? So we've got the drum here. There's, you'll notice there's a little silicon stopper here. Now that is actually removable. Now it acts, when it's in place, you need it in place to juice. When it's in there, it ensures that the pulp that's coming out of here um, comes out with a bit of motion because it, it builds like a springboard and it builds a bit of pressure, okay? So then the pulp comes out that way. It's removable because what we can do is just literally give this and there you'll see that it's cleaned, okay? So that's just come out. There is a toothbrush that p piece that comes through so on occasion if something gets really stuck you can use that. Just make sure, once you've done that, you reposition the silicon stopper back in there, okay? Um, if you don't, and if you juice with that out, what you're gonna get is a pulpier pulp, sorry, pulpier juice, and a juicier pulp. That's not what we want. So when it's in, we're getting a juicier juice and a pulpier pulp. If it's out, you'll notice that the pulp's much juicier and the juice is much pulpier, okay? Don't ask me why, it's just, um, it's just a weird, strange thing. So, in for juicing, out for cleaning. In for juicing, out for cleaning. And that's where we wanna go. So that's that clean anyway. So again, a quick rinse around there. We've got that there. And then just the, the feeder chute. And again, literally you just see, I don't even use any soap for this, and it's just, as long as you just do it pretty quickly after you so juice. I just wanna show you again. Um, this in this hand, you put the, strainer in there, you put your auger in there, you will find with the brand new ones it's a little bit stiff just to pop out of there initially but that will um, soften up after one or two goes and then we just find the red dot which is here okay on the on the top of the strainer and we just match that to the red dot here and then all I do literally is I just put that in, put my hand over here and you just feel it lock in, okay? And that's that. And then quite simply, we get this arrow here, matched up with that red dot there, twist, and we're locked in, and we're ready to go. So back on here, and we're all ready to make our nut milk. So next up, we're gonna do a nut milk. And the Huron's a rather special juicer in the fact that it's one of the very few machines that can you can make a nut milk with without having to do blitz blends and, and using nut milk bags and all the rest of it. So um, the first key thing that you've gotta remember about making nut milk is A, use raw nuts. Um, try and use organic if you can. Um, and secondly, you've got to pre-prepare your nuts. So by that I mean is you've got to basically soak them. And uh, what we've got here, um, now at the UPW show, we were making just purely almonds. 
almond nut milk, and uh, that really makes a good basis of a good milk. Um, these have been soaked overnight in a bowl of water, okay? And the reason we do that is it tricks the almonds into believing that it's about to start growing. It'll release its enzyme inhibitors, which are its kind of coat that it's, uh, that's, that's it's protected by, it's protected from the elements, it releases that thinking it's in the ground and then it, it, it plumps up effectively and it goes into, it, it sort of acquires um, some additional nutritional value and it goes right, okay we're ready to grow, so it's got a lot of energy packed into it. Compare it to these almonds here, so we've got the three soaked, these are the three just dried and you notice that they're, they're much smaller, okay, they're from the same almond um, grower but uh, really much smaller. So much more digestible, more nutritional value, um, better storage capacity, obviously. Once you've soaked these, you really need to eat them. You've got to keep them in the fridge, and you need to eat them within a couple of days, really. Otherwise, they, they might start going moldy. So there you go. Um, if they do start to sprout a little bit and start getting green sprouts off them, that's fine. It's okay. Um, now, what we've also done here, I've also soaked... And they don't, they don't actually take as long, but um, you know, some pistachios and also some hazelnuts. I've had those soaking for about four hours, um, and you'll find that most other nuts, macadamias, brazils, walnuts, don't require as much soaking as the almonds, um, usually about four hours, but the almonds do require sort of around about eight. Okay, so we've got a, an, I guess just on a rough rule of thumb basis, and again, play around with this, you need around about 250 grams of dried, nut product um, before you soak it uh, to make a, around about a litre of nut milk. Okay, so per kilo, four litres of milk. If you um, buy a little bit in bulk, then you can really start to look at making wonderful, nutritious, raw nut milk um, cheaper than you might perhaps be able to buy dairy milk from your local convenience store, which is a good thing. So, there's our nuts. Now, what we've got here is um, I've got some, uh, some basically some medjool dates now I've actually soaked those again in a little bit of water overnight and again that's just to soften them up so let's, let's just make a comparison. So you'll see here, again from the same, same dates we've got these, there's the soaked one, dried one. Now soaking it basically just loosens it up a little bit and just makes it a lot more, I, know, I guess lends itself to, to juicing better or being having its you know sweetness ground out of it by the huron. So um, you know it's just a better way. Now warning here as well is just make sure you remove this. Okay? You will probably damage your huron if you put stones of any description down through the chute, okay? Um, so somebody actually asked me the other day, I think it was uh, Paul who, who bought one of these machines, Adam, what can we put in in terms of seeds and nuts and stones and all the rest of it? What I'd say is if it's a seed that you could put in your mouth and chew down comfortably, it'll go through in the hurum, okay? If it's something that you don't think you can chew, don't put it down in a hurum. That's about the, the rule of thumb that I, I would run with, okay? So we've got, and again, this is my taste preference, five medjool dates. Um, soaked for, for a litre of water. You can use any dried fruit. Figs are beautiful. And again, just let your, your mind run riot, really, or your imagination run riot. Let your mind run riot, too. Um, and so we've got five there. I'm going to use that syrup as well. It's a beautiful, sweet syrup. So, 250 grams of mixed nuts, raw. We've got our dried fruit. Um, you know, and again, you can see how much they're about the equivalent of five uh, dates or thereabouts. And finally, the magic ingredient, our friend, the vanilla bean again. So, um, I buy my vanilla beans, by the way, from Loving Earth. They do some wonderful vanilla beans. I think I bought six of them the other day for 20 bucks. If you can see that you've got a long, um, you know, sort of uh, relationship ahead with vanilla beans, then go and buy a kilo from them. You have to sort of pretend you're a wholesale customer and it costs about 180 bucks, but you've kind of got a couple of years worth then. So I've just put that in a bit of water as well overnight just to soften it up. So it's all about making sure that, you know, any of your dried fruit products, um, you know, is, is soft enough just so you can squeeze out those seeds. And what will happen there is this is going to go through the hurum and we're going to get these lovely seeds come out and that wooded bark will get ejected out of the pulp. So, the last final thing is, is that we need some water. Now you can't see that, it's a jug, but uh, that is ionized water. Um, you know, obviously if you've only got tap water, you can go for that. I avoid buying bottled water just from the environmental impact. I would recommend, if you can at some point, to get yourself a water ionizer. 
um, you know, or a decent filtration system, you can go and check out waterhealthcare.com.au. You might have seen them at the, on the stand with us at UPW. They do a wonderful chance and water ionizer and filter system, which is what I use. So we've got a liter of water there. We've got our dried fruit. And what I'm just gonna do is just kind of mix this in. Because again, whenever, whatever you're juicing or, or processing through the hurom, it kind of goes better through the hurom when you've just got it all mixed up rather than putting single product through. So we'll just get that like that. And then, quite simply, I'm going to grab a handful. And then this is just a bit of a balancing act. Just going to pop that through there like that. Okay? And you just got to really just time it right. Now, you may on occasion, and I'm just going to do this on purpose, you might get a bit of a blockage if you put too much product down at once, alright? Now if that happens, don't worry, because I'm trying to block it here, of course it's not going to happen now that I want it to happen, um, but the Huron has a sort of protective mechanism built into it, which stops the, um, the motor sort of being overworked if there's some product in there that's, that's, that's causing too much hard work. If that does happen, you can just hit the reverse button where the on button is, is located and um, it'll just back the product out. There you go, just putting all that through and we, in just a few short moments, have made ourselves a wonderful, delicious hazelnut, pistachio and almond nut milk with date and vanilla. And that's now you'll find um, the Hurum does an absolutely fantastic job of separating that fibre, as you can see here. So that's just really now. What can you use with that? You can make yourself some some you know. It's still it's great good fibre. It's just had a lot of the flavour and nutrients squeezed out of it by the Hurum. Um, but you know you could use that with the exception of the vanilla um, bark. You could uh, make some cakes out of that. Um, use it as sprinkles over you know broccoli if you're going to do some sort of stir fry broccoli. Again, use your imagination. But it's it's all good and it is edible. Absolutely. Um, so we've got the milk here and. As I was saying, the Huron is very good at uh, squeezing the, the or separating the fiber from the juice. You will find there is some little bits of micro fiber in there. If you want to use, you know, get a super fine milk, perhaps for coffee or something like that, where you don't want any bits at all floating around in it, I would suggest just to get yourself um, what's called a chef's bag. Um, they're nylon bags. I'm not sure if I've got any here. Um, they're nylon bags about this this big. They're re they're washable. And they basically are sort of, you know, they have like 150 gauge micron, 250 micron gauge. And that will literally take out all that super, super fine fiber that stayed in the milk to give you a really, really, really super fine um, almond or nut milk. So there you go. That's um, in a glass there. Uh, go easy on the raw nuts. I know they have fantastic fats in them, um, but don't do any of this to excess. Um, so, you know, it is good for you, but you can have too much of a good thing. Anything is poisonous in the wrong or in, in the wrong wrong amount, as I, I think I want somebody's want to say. So there you go. What I've put together here, just for our breakfast of champions, if you didn't want to just drink the milk, you know, I've got some bananas, got some blueberries, and then I've just ground up some linseeds or flax seeds, as they might be known, and some sunflower. And uh, there's there's quite a, a well-known you know um, sort of mixture of of, of lins it's called linseed sunflower and almonds or better known as LSA mix which is a really good balance of omega oils um, and you basically do three parts linseed or flaxseed two parts um, sunflower and one part almonds and that's a really another great great start to the day for for your sort of omega oils and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour that on top and we have. Truly, a breakfast of champions. This milk will last for uh, around about three days, three or four days in the fridge, so you can make up a little bit of a, a, a quantity of it, and um, you know have that for, for use throughout the you know the following couple of days from when you make it. And uh, that is about it. So enjoy your Huron. If you have any questions, we do have um, our Facebook Huron page which is located on Facebook. Uh, you'll see the uh, details there at the bottom of the screen. And also um, our YouTube channel, which is Quarren Health TV, which is what this video is sat on. And also we've got our blog on um, our main website, which is quarren.com.au. Recipe uh, details are gonna follow at the end of the screen. And uh, yeah, enjoy your, your Huron, happy juicing.